So Nate, you weren't here for the last dig with the three of us. So we're obviously in an old farm square. Yeah, right. We came down here to detect the entire square because we hadn't and discovered that right over there where that birch is laying down. Where that brick is? Yes, the brick is. There was a cabin site. A lot of late 1800s cabin stuff, saws, blah, blah, blah. But we never got to work the rest of the square, so that's the plan today. There's got to move more stuff out here. Mm. If not, we'll do something. Do <laughs> right. My first diggable signal. Oh. One dime. Oh. Last time around in here, we were like, there's gotta be. Is it seated? There's gotta be some coinage. Seated dime, baby. Wow, that's awesome. 1862. Really? That seems to predate everything at the cabin, but like I said, the cellar was right up there and they were here for a long time. Congrats, Nate. That is killer. First signal. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't think... Or did you dig a seeded dime at that, oh, that big field? I did, big at that fields. big field. Yep. So this is my second. That's funny because I dug a two cent piece recently. Yeah. And I was trying to tell Wayne, was like, I can't remember the last time. I did remember the last time. It was at that place. Really? And that just happened last week. Wow. So it's been, it'll be eight years this fall. Unbelievable. Good job. Well, Nate found what we were hoping to find out here. What's that? 1862 seated, seated dime. Whoa. Nice. Silver, first signal. What are you working on? Oh, I got a target. Okay. Buenos, how you doing? Good, good. I just had a nice little 64 here. Oh, and you dug another one yeah, of them. another one of these little clock winders or whatever they're called. Wow. That's interesting, huh? Yeah, we've all been through this area too, so. Yeah, well. That's how it goes. Maybe we moved enough stuff to open up other signals, you know? Yep. Cool, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, Dame's got a signal. Same numbers as Nate. Huh. Let's see what the results vary in, though. Oh. Copper jacketed round. Oh. Uh. Wow. Yep. Well, I was hoping for you. It was a good signal. <laughs> it sure was. Jeez. That's a large projectile. Now that's a suspender I've never seen. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that a horseshoe? It looks like a lucky horseshoe. Oh, it's got a leaf in the middle. Yeah. So, 
here we are down the back. And we had scouted this last year. We just walked in. I came down here because Dan was detecting down here. And you're a few, what were we down here, 15 minutes? Yeah. There's, it's loaded with stuff. Um, we had last year scouted that other small square within a square. Mm. But it's bigger than this. And, and I came down and I saw this little spit of cross wall and then the proper opening. And uh, it's just stuff. And what makes it interesting is you come down off the hill. That's where we were just detecting. There's a strip of wall all by itself. Doesn't square anything in. And then you come down here and it is what? It's like a quarter of an acre square? Yeah, it's probably... 150 feet on a side. It's very that. small. Yeah. But apparently there's things down here. Mm. And so realistically, we're like one, two, more than three squares away from where the house was. Yes. We're almost in the second lot. Yes. Big, whatever it is. Yeah, one of them strap iron yeah but still damn we're it, onto something to walk all the way down here there's it's loaded with signals and all just you know slamming screamers but there's stuff yeah so you have the signs of a structure yeah i found a corner right here and you pulled square nails i pulled a square nail huh yeah and there's definitely a line of rocks over there very good. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I'll join you in a second. I have a signal right here. Piece of something. A lot of stuff in that corner, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a little dumpy corner. I'm just going to open it up. Yep. A little piece of wood there. Is it? Yeah shaped oh yeah and then some of that just have a flashing yep. barrel band yep all kinds of Is that part of a hame? Or is it part of a barrel? I don't know. Like the bottom of a barrel. Oh no, you know what that is? Uh-uh. I can see it. I can see it now. That's the side of a chest. <laughs> it is the side of a chest. Oh my god. What the hell? That's a first. And remarkably, because it's probably 1800s, there is still wood in there. Whoa. That is one of the coolest things I've seen, Dan. And you're just going at random. Yeah. It's mixed in with all this stuff. Jeez. That's a root. <laughs> So we'll just open this up. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Actually, a chest. A treasure chest? I'm just going <laughs> to orbit. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, let's head up the hill, get the guys. Yeah. So they can come down here and work the area and you can peel it back. Right. All right, Wayne, remember last fall, you, myself, and Dame popped in to see that little square that's kind of way down the bottom? Oh, okay, yep. Oh, that's what I found. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that. that and Dame awesome. started digging, found a little Crap. foundation that's footprint, uh -huh. and he just started digging up a chest. Are you serious? A box. We found the top frame part, but you guys got to come down there because there's activity down there. Okay. You're out there, huh? Yeah. You dig that axe head? Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So we're all going down the hill because we found 
a another little spot and okay. Dame just started digging into the top of a wooden chest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to go down there, okay? Yep. One button. That's all we need. 30, 40 would be nice. I am a wood. You can almost see that the 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 dirt is of a different consistency, like it's just all rotten stuff. It's it's weird that like somebody would just like toss a broken yeah no the chest back here. See where Wainos is? Yeah. There's there's definitely lines of rocks and there's nail. Yeah. Like this thing seems like it was. Piece of plate. Ah, nice. Yeah. Other kinds of materials. Just digging in, pulling lots of pieces of that plate, and I just saw this set itself free. Whoa. Sweet. Nice. Very nice. Top of the bottle. Got myself a hoe. Huh. Things, more things. Mm -hmm. What's outside the wall, Wainos? Horseshoe. Oh, there you are. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. Lobster. That is part of a suspender. Still got some color to it, too. More of the suspender. Yep. That's it. Patent number 27. No more signs of the chest? No, I found a hinge, but uh, that was about it. And then there's a big old jar here. And horseshoe. Pull the fork. Whoa. Yeah. Beauty. Well, being it's a dumpy area, just swing, get signals, open up, and pull things out. Well, I got the match to your fork. Nice. It's got scales? One side. Boy. All kinds of treasures in here. So we just left where we were. That was a pretty awesome find, but earlier Nate was walking down here in this corner. And it seems to be a dump, which could be another good find. Oh yeah, old pots and pans, and buckets, and things. Hmm. You just did the same thing, walked over, swung over something, and... Oh, it's a measuring stick. Oh, is it? Yep, that's the, uh, the butt end of it where it would hinge. Nice. Wow. Definitely. Another uh, interesting spot way down the back of nothing. Yeah, I figured I'd start from the outside and work closer to the noise. <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> so, since we're almost out of time, give this a few minutes and save it for the next time. Yeah. Big chunk of one of them. Got a file. You find a lot of files. Well, the funny thing was, is the signal was long. So I dug a rectangle, see? 
Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to find the end of it, so I was like, it's there's all rough stuff in here, so let's get this big loud thing out. Yep. Turned out all right. Nice. Yeah, buckled up. Yeah, I think uh, this is definitely going to be worthy of a return. Uh huh. Small coils trip. to get through all the chatter. Right. Eighty-six. You don't pass up an eighty-six, no matter where you are. Wow. It's not an oxen shoe. Other side of the wall. Wow. It's crazy how much stuff is on this property. Uh -huh. Far from the main house. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying in total what we've discovered. And you're in the middle of well, it's a pond out there. And I mean, so this wall is a ridiculous wall. It's built from both sides, and it's crap on that side and crap on that side. <laughs> As he eloquently described, it's a double-fed wall. That side's a pit, and that side's a pond. But 200 years ago, it might not have been. It could have been pasture all the way down to the brook. Right. 